Well, hi there. <laughs> Episode two, first day, HBOT, take four. I'm not an experienced vlogger, so it didn't work out three times. <laughs> so hopefully it's working out okay now. Last one I didn't, quite a nice story. I was pretty satisfied with it after take three, but um, well, my head was not on it. <laughs> I didn't check the camera. All right, so anyway, take four, that's okay. The story gets better and shorter, by the way. Uh, yeah, well. So, how was it? First day, um, went there at 9 30 in the car, was there you know, half an hour, a good half hour later, and uh, got dressed. You get dressed uh, from the hospital, you get hospital dresses on and uh, stuff. Anyway, got rid of all the fancy stuff, all the electronics, and we could take a book. And uh, of course, I took a book because what else should you do? Two hours. And uh, what was nice that there were a lot of people there who are also having long COVID and um, have their stories. So I talked to about five people and um, they all are noticing difference because they are somewhat further uh, already. Uh, there were three there around 40 to 45 days and they said that they really do uh, notice a difference. That was one girl who was telling that her neighbor um, is also progressing, not really during the HPOT, he wasn't progressing that much, but afterwards, in the six to eight weeks afterwards, he was making huge steps. I heard that from the doctor as well during the intake, but I forgot about that. That was something else that I forgot was uh, during the intake, what the doctor said that, um, what was it? Uh, ah, shoot. Um, he was telling that, oh yeah, the, air, the eyesight. Your eyesight can change and it's temporarily so there was this one woman after we came out of the tank the woman said like oh you're driving yourself can you do that i was like oh, i think i can driving home is not that bad or driving in itself is not that bad for me so the reason why i took this time slot this time slot really is between two traffic jams because uh, the area is not clogged but it's busy normal during uh well at the beginning and the end of office hours it is busy so I want to go in between those times. So I start at uh, 10, 15, I have to be there and it stops about um, one o'clock, somewhat sooner, 1.45, uh, 12.45 or so it's finishing. So I have time enough to go, to get home before the traffic jam, before traffic is getting well, somewhat busier. So anyway, um, it was nice to hear that the story said everybody is uh, kind of, uh, not kind of positive, is positive. And that's nice to hear. That gives uh, hope because, uh, yeah, well, it's like said, it's not really uh, scientifically proven that it works. But uh, when you read all the stuff on the internet uh, about HBOT, you'll see that uh, that mainly the experiences are positive. But that's from the doctor's point of view, and I haven't uh, read a lot of stuff about the patient's point of view. That's why we're doing this vlog, aren't we? So, um, in the tank, that was an experience. That was a tiring experience, and I'll tell you why that was. Of course, everything is new, so a lot of impressions, which is tiring as, as to, yeah, to begin with. Then uh, the pressurizing itself uh, was okay. If you don't have any troubles with, uh, you know, uh, equalizing your eardrums, then there's no problems for you about that. You do notice that you're pressurized. I have this, uh, there's this in, your, in my skull, you have this, I don't know what you call this, hollow. But it's kind of hollow and it's always, always full with me, this this uh, part. I feel that. But it's not painful, it's annoying, but it's not painful. And I have it uh, also when I'm flying. So uh, that's okay. But what was uh, different, or a different strange experience for me, uh, I do wear pressurized air sometimes, like scuba but it's overpressured and um, when it's overpressured you take a sip of breath you know when you mask and it you know the pressure comes into your lungs by, its, by itself sort of you don't have to it doesn't take a lot of strength or a lot of uh, trouble but these ones aren't you have to really suck the air in which means that your eardrums go inward and when you breathe out your eardrums go outward and that goes on every time you breathe and since it was tiring, I also had to yawn. And yawning in that mask, 
almost impossible. <laughs> almost impossible. But anyway, oh, sorry. Anyway, after I got out of the tank, I was uh, that tired because the noise of 12 people breathing into uh, oxygen masks and they don't do it all at the same time. So and there's a constant loud hiss uh, in all kinds of stadia. When people try to yawn, it's like <laughs> and uh, well, anyway, that was quite something. So I was that beat when I came out of the out of the tank, and um, I just took it easy, uh, relaxed for a little while, like ten or fifteen minutes, and I went to do the car and drove behind the truck home easily. I went to bed straight away and slept for a few hours. And uh, yeah, that's my first day. Overall, I'm uh, quite positive. And I hope that I'll share stories with you soon. So thanks for watching again. And uh, well, see you next time. Bye bye for now. And uh, sorry, I have to get out of the view and make sure that I switch it off. So bye.